All right, hey everyone, what's up? It's Mike Deary from Rock Guitar Power, and I'm making a quick video here to respond to a question that somebody from the Rock Guitar Power community uh, sent in. So this is from Sandy, and Sandy asked me an awesome question, and it's such a popular one that I see a lot. I thought it'd be great to make a quick video to uh, show you and answer um, what's going on. So here's the question. Um, she asks, why does it feel like you go over a lick or part of a solo, start slow, work on it over and over again? Uh, it seems like you put in a long time just for that one part, let alone the entire song, and still can't nail it. Um, how long does it take to get a lick or solo down and, and to get your fingers to do what you want to do? So this is something, again, I see all the time. It's absolutely critical to learn something slow, so definitely do that, and you're doing that right for sure. Usually what happens is that you kind of hit a brick wall. Let's say, it's, um, let's just take a very simple lick. Um, I'm going to be at the 12th fret uh, and the 15th fret, and we're just going to go 15, 12, 15, 12 on the E and B string. So something like this. Kind of like a Zach Wilde lick. Okay, so... Just repeating that, you want to start very slow at quarter notes. And then you work your way up with your metronome. What's going to happen is you'll get to a point where things really get shaky and hard. And that's where the brick wall kind of hits. Let's say your goal tempo is to play that at 120 as eighth notes. Okay, So you work your way up, and let's say you get to like 100, and you just can't get any faster. What you got to do is force yourself to play it faster. Mind you, it's going to sound like crap and it's going to be messy. Okay, That's where people usually go wrong with this, is that they play and play and play, but they don't push themselves over that barrier because they're afraid of it sounding bad or losing coordination and, just, and losing the whole thing altogether. That's going to happen, and you got to work through that. Okay. Once you do this with one lick, you usually get the idea of how to get through it, all right? It's not easy, but the biggest thing is don't be afraid of it sounding like crap. When you start slow, you know, like... It's not hard to make it sound good. But when you get in those faster tempos... You might get into, you know, you might get into it getting messy and sounding like that. But when you work your way through it, Push yourself just to keep playing at faster tempos, even if you can't handle it. Eventually, you start getting that coordination down, and it starts gelling. So something like... You know, you start feeling the pick connect with the strings, and your fingers all kind of happen together. So the biggest advice I would give you, number one, start pushing those tempos higher than you can handle, and stay there, and just, even if it's one time one bar or, you know, four notes that connect, make sure you take note of it and grab onto that moment because you heard yourself do it once and you know you'll be able to do it again, okay? The other big thing you could do is try playing to the song. If it's a song or a certain solo you're trying to learn, you might not have it down to the point where you could play it fast to the song. Try it anyways. Work your way through it. Even if you turn your volume all the way down, Playing to the song will help get you out of your own head and hearing you. You'll hear the song more. If you train your fingers where to move, okay, that's a big part of it. Because then it's just a matter of, you know, knowing the energy of the song and playing as fast as the song is going. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but that's my tip for that. You know, use that metronome, jump higher than you can handle, stay there for a while and just try to work through it. Jump back down and then make sure you can play it clean, but then jump right back up again and just push through it. That's the way you kind of break down those barriers of tempo. Um, it's like, I guess it's a, a lot like working out in a gym or training your muscles. You know, if you want to lift more weights than you can handle, you just got to try to do it once or twice. It's going to hurt like hell. The guitar's not going to hurt like hell, but you know, you got to push yourself through it and you'll get there. All right. So hopefully that helps. Do this with a very easy, repetitive lick, okay? That's why I like doing this one right here, because it's very repetitive and it's easy. If you try doing this with a complicated, intricate lick, uh, there's all these other elements and it's going to be tricky. But if you do it with something repetitive, 
it's there's it makes the whole thing easier. So hopefully that helps. Let me know and answer back, and let me know if, if you have more questions on it, and if that does help, and I'll, I'll respond. And uh, everybody else out there in Rock Guitar Power, you know, I love taking the time to do this. So send your questions in. Let me know what you're struggling with, and uh, I'll pop off uh, some answers as quick as I can. I'm in my office right now, kind of just uh, working away and, and jamming, so uh, I thought I'd take the time to shoot this video. Hopefully that helps. Keep practicing, Sandy, and let me know if you have any more questions. And everybody else in Rock Guitar Power... Keep playing, rocking out. We'll talk to you soon. Later.